It's okay. Mississippi State 30, or sorry, Mississippi State 24, NC State 10, dominating dog defense here. NC State had five scoring opportunities that uh, drives inside the 40. They only got two points per attempt, 10 points for the game. Tim Beck's offense could do nothing against Zach Arnett's defense, and I I could not believe this. I had no idea. Like, State is physical as hell, man. Like, they look so much better this week than they did last week, and I don't well, know if it, it was took a little while. It took yeah. them a little while for the offense to get going. First quarter and a half, that offense looks exactly like they looked last week, which was putrid. NC State's defense did anything they want. Offensive so, line couldn't block anybody. And it was like a damn switch went off. Oh, yeah. And all of a sudden, State got every everything they needed from that point forward. I will say this. I told everybody on the Bet US show that the best player on the field was going to be Peyton Thomas. And, okay. and he went out early. So he did, he's the that, linebacker that, for NC State. That, so he that went out. Could, that, could, that could be why the offense was able to just immediately make a switch. Yeah, no, it, it certainly certainly hurts. The second best player that I said would be on the field was Isaiah Wilson, and and he went out uh, third quarter, I guess it was, somewhere around there. So <laughs> good morning, Lincoln. My, my son is awake now. So he, he went to the ball game yesterday, his first time, and, uh, and enjoyed himself. But, uh, but man, did we – we had a party. We had a party yesterday. So he's good. He's good. Here, come here. Come on. We got a we got a rapid fire. Let's talk about Mississippi State real quick. So, hey, tell tell Mr. Chris, did you have fun at the game? Have fun at the game. <laughs> Got a boy. Did you did you enjoy it? Tell him roll tide. Say roll tide. <laughs> yeah, don't you don't want to don't listen. Don't abuse that child like that. Somebody now, somebody on this stream is going to call child services on your ass. That's, they might at this point. I don't know what's going on. He, he decided to get all shy on me. Oh, so, you tried to make him say them horrible words. That's what it is. I tried to make him say roll tide. He, he was saying it all day yesterday. All no, day that's, yesterday. That's, that's cultish. That's cultish. He did it. That's a survival <laughs> mechanism. You blend in with the crazy people so that they don't, you know, hurt you or mess with you. I understand. I understand. That's a, that's uh, a defense mechanism. That so boy needs help. Back into this NC State game. <laughs> Stuff rate. NC State point oh nine five. Mississippi State point two. That's a massive difference for anybody that doesn't understand the advanced stats. At, just looking at this game from an outside perspective, it, it looked like State had been preparing for this one instead of the Louisiana Tech game. I, I think really, there's yeah. a lot to that. I, I, I think I, I think we're seeing that all over college football. I think it's unwise. I think it's really dangerous. At the end of the day, if you're a team like Mississippi State and you squeak by a Louisiana Tech, but you perform well in the SEC, nobody's going to remember that. Nobody's going to care. So it's a risk probably worth taking. I thought NC State was a better football team before this game started. I thought NC State had a chance to be the second best team in the ACC. I don't know that I'm I don't know that I'm changing my opinion on that. Maybe Vatek is the second best, but uh, the ACC State, is in a world hurt right now. <laughs> Mississippi State ran the opening kick off back for a touchdown, and their defense was so suffocating and swarming they they couldn't let they were able to buy the offense time to get, to get going. figured out. And once they figured it out, man, Rogers looked good. Rogers looked real good. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.